And of course, News 19 is your local election headquarters. Voters will go to the polls tomorrow. Governor Kay Ivey keeping up her push for a full second term as our state's governor. Thank you for joining us for News 19 at 4. I'm Christine Kellemeyer. And I'm Jerry Hayes. We reported last week that the latest News 19 poll commissioned with the Hill and Emerson College shows that Governor Ivey has a big lead, but not enough to ensure she can win the Republican nomination without a runoff. News 19 Chief Investigative Reporter Brian Lawson joins us now in the studio with more. Brian? Right, so our poll showed that Governor Ivey was at 46%, actually down a couple of points from late March. The governor would obviously like to avoid a runoff, but she needs 50% plus one vote to do so. The most re recent campaign finance filings show she's pushing hard to win. Records from Governor Ivey's campaign show that from May 9th to the 15th, she spent $708,000 in less than a week. Tim James, who the poll showed in second place with 18%, spent $230,000 during the same period. Lindy Blanchard, in third place, spent the most money, $1.2 million. Now, looking at last week's spending in the GOP race for governor, the figures date from May 16th to the 20th. That shows the governor ramped up her spending again. Ivey reported spending just over $1 million last week. James reported, reported spending nearly $138,000, and Blanchard did not file an updated spending report last week. Now, records show Governor Ivey has received $2 million from a group known as Putting Families Back to Work, Inc., since late March, including $250,000 last week. The group shares office space with the Republican Governors Association.